What's going on? Welcome back to Trading Stocks. Today, I want to talk to you about Virgin Galactic. I want to go over some of the current data points, talk on why it is selling off, and at the same time, why I feel like there is more downside coming. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So right now, it is down 16.22%, 19.6 million shares being traded, 11.7 is the average. So even though the volume does look appealing, Big money isn't the culprit. So big money's not buying this dip with uh, obviously Virgin. It is just algorithmic trading and swing traders as well as shorts. So big money is still massively overlooking Virgin. When it comes to news though, there isn't any official news. There was an SEC document right here, a preliminary 14A. So I'll talk all about that in a second. But at the same time, there was also this that came out. So this analyst rating that was roughly, where was it? Uh, last month, um, done by Michael, who has a 63% success rating, gave a $3 price target. Triest, they did remove their rating. Uh, still kept the hold, but removed their price target. So that is very bearish. Um, of course, they're just doing that just to not really affect their rating per se, but at the same time, still it isn't really good. And plus, this analyst recently did cite that there isn't any short term catalysts and reasons why anyone should buy Virgin Galactic. So I think all in all, that's really escalating the downtrend. And plus, aside from that, just the technicals have started to look absolutely horrific. As I did even bring up in my last video, when it was at like a dollar oh four, something like that, I said based on the Elliott Wave technicals, it does have a pivot point of a dollar twenty five. So for as long as Virgin is below that, then it is anticipated to get between this 81 to 87 cent mark. So it's already kind of within in that range on the lower side of that so yeah let me know your thoughts a lot of people are saying that this is shorts today I actually beg to differ only because you can kind of see the EX right here so that does show the SEC rule 201 aka the uptick rule has been triggered so whenever a stock is below more than 10% then shorts can't increase so this right now is just institutions and a lot of the big holders in Virgin Galactic selling out. So right now, or at least based on the last disclosure, 157.07 million shares being held by institutions, and then 33.69 by strategic entities, and then 209.28 million by other, aka retail. So unfortunately, institutions appear to be dumping, and that is because of the preliminary 14A, which again is something that I did say in my last video, roughly four or five days ago, that was going to be coming down the pipeline. If you are looking for a lot of good compiled information, such as everything that I mentioned, such as analyst ratings, forecasts, and everything, take a look at Interactive Brokers for all of this to be completely free. So take advantage of that. But moving on to kind of bigger and better things. So this preliminary 14A is a shareholder meeting scheduled for June the 12th. And in here, as you can kind of see, a lot of the basic stuff that obviously a lot of people don't really care about. Um, but this proposal number five, the damn reverse stock split. So in essence, they are looking for it to be approved. And that way they can do anywhere from a one to two to a one to 20. So very, very detrimental. So they clearly do mimic the same mentality that the analyst recently said that there's no short term catalyst. Um, to really boost the stock price higher because you've seen some companies in the past, despite them going below $1, they still don't do a reverse stock split vote up until the very last minute because they do believe that the stock price is going to go up. Clearly, in Virgin's case, their management does not believe that they are going to get above $1. So this is why I do feel just based on this alone, that there is more downside to come. So that's just my own interpretation, of course. I think at the same time as well, just big money not really getting into Virgin is a huge red flag and clearly shows that this, even at these prices, is not advantageous and there is no value. Right now, shorts aren't really doing all that much, currently increasing about 1.94 million shares. 26.03% of the free flow is being shorted. That works out to be 95.14 million shares overall are being shorted. And then utilization is 78.35 and the short score is 83.02 and cost of our average is 1.47. So technically, like I know a lot of people really want Virgin to squeeze. I've said from the very beginning, even though shorts have been one of the main culprits, why Virgin has been going down, they've been doubling down for and in it for a very long time. 
but I've never said that virgin is a short squeeze only because in order for a short squeeze to occur, you need a surprise catalyst. As much as I say, like it'd be good for virgin to come out with some surprise pieces of news, maybe better than anticipated revenue. They've done like they surprised us in Q3 2023. I got to give them that. But aside from that, they've been lackluster. So I don't know. It's it's a very crappy scenario, which, like I said, is going to result in more and more downside. Looking at options. So right now, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in puts, sixty one thousand in calls. Sentiment wise, sixty four percent of all the options being done today are bearish. And of the call options, there's not really much kind of optimism a lot of that probably is just being purchased by shorts hedging their bets just in case virgin does get above one dollar which i don't anticipate at least unless something really does dramatically change in the economy maybe rate cuts or two rate cuts i think that might be the only factor to cause really virgin to go up naturally but aside from that though looking at this you do see a consensus for it to be sub one dollar and even by may the 17th it looks like it's anticipated to be sub 50 cents so that's kind of a benchmark you can kind of see there has been some transactions over this last little bit on the dark pool that is linked to shorting and like i've already said just shorts have been really dictating where exactly virgin has been going and then today just a lot of selling coming from institutions but with it right now at 81 cents and change it is actually below the fib levels so on every single front the four hour the one day and the one hour it is below them all so it is kind of overkilled essentially i don't want to say that there's going to be a value run into this point right here but at the same time there's still no hope so i think right now is this just in massive free fall there was a 52 week in all-time low being created today at 79 cents so yeah i think all in all it will probably continue to trend down and i don't mean to spread any fud but I don't know even if this one for 20 is going to be sufficient uh, because there's been plenty of companies, one of which I do cover under this channel as well, Faraday, they did a one for three. And because they thought, hey, our stock isn't going to be that bad by the time of, for instance, June the 12th or whenever they want to enact the reverse stock split. Well, guess what? Maybe by June the 12th, this stock will be like, I don't know, just throwing it out there, 15 cents. So that's not really going to help all that much with the whole $1 deficiency that they might rectify because shorts will be able to just easily bring it down below that $1 mark with very little effort. So I think right now, again, maybe it's premature to talk on, but I think that this one for 20 is a little bit too early or too not really good enough so aside from all of that fun jazz on the actual chart lower percentile of the boiling band and like i mentioned it is outside of that right now on stochastic you do see it very oversold but clearly as what the analyst even said it'd be nice if there's some surprise news but I don't think anything is anticipated. A number of retail investors are getting out. So today's both institutions and retail selling. So this is what you kind of get for somewhat of a fire sale. So let me know your thoughts. Are you a buyer, one of the small percentage individuals that do believe in this company that's taking advantage of these cheap prices? Or what or are you selling? What's your thoughts? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. One final thing, make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you seven fractional shares of the Meg 7 at $35 total value. So this is one of the best deals. And plus, Mumu has been really developing their platform quite a lot, so it has a lot of good information. So take advantage of that. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.